Hey, this is Frank Valenti, Northern California. Today I'm going to talk about how our market has been affected by interest rates. Hey, this is uh, Frank Valenti. I'm going to give you a market update. This is very dated information. This is going to be for October 18th. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to start talking about interest rates, how that's affected affordability, which has affected the market and it's also affected the pricing of homes. So think of interest rates. Going back, if you went back last December, less than a year ago, people were quoted, were actually getting 3% or less. That was the rate. Now with a 10% down, this is the down, a buyer, if the buyer wanted to keep their payment no more than 3500 and this is principal interest taxes and insurance 3500 that buyer could buy a $700,000 loan a $700,000 house 3% 10% down total payment principal interest taxes insurance equated to a $700 purchase. That was less than a year ago, December of last year. Right now, if you went in today and didn't do a lot of shopping, you're gonna get quoted 7.5%. That's the biggest increase I've seen in 20 years in that short amount of time. So still doing 10% down, same buyer wants 10% down, most, and they still wanna keep their payment at 3,500, that same buyer right now could only buy about 425,000. Okay, so we've seen a dramatic loss in less than a year in home affordability, and it's due to the interest rates. Okay, so what's that done to our market and also to values so right now today if I look for SAC plus or El Dorado County if I look for active homes there's 4,110 homes so if I went into the multiple listing service and you wanted a house in these three counties I have 4,110 homes to show you in the last 30 days, this is sold. In the last 30 days, better. Okay. In the last 30 days, we've sold 1,633 homes. I call this, an, if I think of what I call an absorption rate, that comes down to a 2.5 month supply of homes, okay? So what, what does that number mean? If no other homes came on the market, we would be out of homes in these three counties based on the current rate in two and a half months. That's still technically, technically that's still a seller's market. Once this gets going over three and a half, four, it's more neutral, definitely over five, we're starting to go into a buyer's market, but this rate, and for the math geeks like myself, is accelerating, increasing, the rates are increasing. So back in December, this rate was about 0 0.1, 0 0.2. In other words, we were, we were having about 1,500 homes come on the market every month, and 1,500 were selling, okay? So, this is the number I'm watching because it's been increasing. Now, what's that doing to pricing, okay? So, follow me all the way through this. If I go back six months, okay, um, we're down 8% in dollars a square foot, okay? So if you, if you bought a home six months ago, the dollar, the price per square foot, I'm, I'm going off closed sales, 
is down in these three counties 8% in the last six months. Okay, that's a big chunk. But again, keep it relative. If you went 24 months ago, you're still up. Okay, you're still to the plus 30%. Okay, so it's, it's relative. So this is what's really been going on in the market is one, this dramatic increase in the short time of interest rates, it's, it's hurt affordability. Kind of another way to think of that, think of it this way for affordability. I call this kind of my mountain of buyers. Okay. So if I have, I have buyers, I'm gonna call them a mountain of buyers. So at, at every price level, as we go up, there's less buyers that can afford. I mean, all these buyers can afford a $300,000 house, there's less that can afford a $500,000, there's less that could go into the millions. This is, so now interest rates went from 3%, now seven and a half. We lost buyers. We still have a pile of buyers. We still have a mountain of buyers. But we have, at every price point, we have less buyers. Okay? So the culprit is the interest rates. It's affecting affordability. That's having an effect on, on the market. You know, my advice to people, you know, if you bought a home six months ago, you really shouldn't be thinking about selling it anyways. But if you're thinking long term, I'm going to buy a home for five, six, seven years. That's the way to think of when you're doing that purchase. If you got any questions on the market specifically for your city, for your county, and I can even drill it down to zip code, neighborhoods, please call or text and have a great day. Bye-bye.